So I actually have found that I actually had to uh, redo um, this first inauguration of uh, my uh, new experience. This is Felicia Baxter reporting as NC Fro and as a new uh, traveling vineyard representative. Um, I did receive my package today and my truth is I can't stand liars. I'm ticked off that all my food is cold that I wanted to demonstrate for my um, vineyard uh, exposition or my new venture. I'll always have to have a side hustle. I don't ever want to work for people. I need to be out of the hospitality business, Airbnb and home away. People don't know or don't have any home training. They don't respect your property. And the distant caseworkers for these people are it's just a hoax you are at the mercy of a bunch of yahoos that are disrespectful of your property that makes me mad so i have a feeling when i do return to my property next week i'll probably end up uh having more damage to it than actual florence did to the rest of north carolina that makes me sick to my stomach and there is no respect. People don't know how to act. They don't respect what they have. They think they, it gives them a right or a blanket to treat others, people's property um, with disrespect. And I don't understand how people think that it's okay that to get away with it. So that's where I am. I'm sorry I'm so depressed or I'm talking down when I'm actually really happy because I did, as I said, my truth for today is my lack of liking people in general has been always as poor. So thank you for making me and my continuing on the cynical uh, nature that I have. I expect nobody's help because you're not gonna get their help, um, but it's okay. I can actually, I'm gonna always be strong and stand on my own. And I'm hopeful that I'll be in a position that I'll be able to correct damage that people actually inflict upon you. Um, but most of my interactions with people make me want to make a perfect case for being a hermit, but it's kind of hard because I do like having a good time. I do like to enjoy great food. This venture with Traveling Vineyard is gonna be one of those things that's gonna allow me to um, enjoy those things. So I wanted to show you exactly what $180 will actually get you access to. You get this really cool container that has over 20 some odd glasses that also have the monogram for Traveling Vineyard. You get a magic decanter, um, interest paraphernalia, um, a cooling, um, I think this is either for candy or for um, snacks. You get pourers, you get 10 great bottles of wine. I'm gonna hit this pinotage because I think it's actually gonna go with my little fare. Everything is cold now because as I said, I was actually on the phone with Airbnb fussing about my property, but no matter. And also you get these great cards. No, these are not. Um, Ouija cards or anything like that. It actually are cards that teach you about being a sommelier as well as pairing. And I'm actually excited about going through that as well as this great canvas tote bag. So besides the stupidity of dealing with Airbnb, um, I actually am having, I'm actually actually having a pretty good Saturday, Friday. Um, I'm not going to let this really get me down. I'm going to go to my property in Lumberton. Oh, I'm forced to cut the grass, <coughs> but that's okay. My whole goal in the next 100 days, this is going to mark the first day of my 100 days. My whole goal is to have $1,000 worth of sales in my first 100 days. My whole intent is to host at least 10 gatherings where I can at least make $150 worth of sales per gathering. 
this will actually give me time to hang out with people <coughs> find out what those wines are that are actually good and also just the fellowship i plan on donating anywhere between one to three percent <coughs> of the proceeds from those um gatherings to the disaster recovery for american offered through american red cross as well as susan coleman breast cancer research and then to a friend of mine trinity trump that's actually having some health issues in charlotte <coughs> i just want to be a blessing to her um and to everyone else that's been affected by the hurricane and I also have a feeling that I'm going to have to use <laughs> the wine as well as um, the proceeds um, to put my house back in order. But it's okay because I'm blessed that I actually have the ability to do that. And if you didn't recognize what that was, that was me opening a bottle, my first bottle of Marulo Pinotage. This is actually out of South Africa. Um, it, it pairs very great with <coughs> um, fragrant cheeses, uh, roasted chicken, and my montage of pimento cheese with townhouse crackers and buffalo wings, um, I think are going to go pair great with this wine. And after my conversation previously, I think I need the drink. But please join me as I enjoy the great Marulo wine uh, offered through Traveling Vineyard. This is Felicia Baxter, NC Fro, is reading, signing off on a pleasant Friday afternoon. I hope you enjoy your day, your evening, and your weekend. Listen to great tunes, drink great wine, and eat great food. I think I just made up my own tagline. Enjoy your day. Listen to great music, drink great wine, and eat great food. Cheers, everyone, and have a great day.